Tomate Mohoric wins Milan San Remo on a dropper post. Really cool stuff. Of course, it's known that, that really long races really suit Tomate Mohoric. Um, two individual Tour de France stages he won uh, last year. They were over 200 kilometers long every time. And of course, also Milan San Remo, a really long race, um, almost 300 kilometers. But Milan San Remo is known that although it's such a long race, um, it really only starts in like the last uh, 30 kilometers, really because then the positioning uh, starts in order to get over those two uh, little climbs called the Cipressa and the Pocho. The race is really decided uh, at those uh, two climbs, whether on the climb or on the descent. And it's almost always like this, or it comes to a mass final sprint. But recently there has been some additions where really um, one rider just gets away in the end. In the descent you really have a great um, advantage if you are willing to take quite some risk. And that's exactly what Matej Mohoric did. And whether he had an advantage with the dropper post or not uh, is debatable because you see the drop is really like small. Because the UCI band, the this super tuck that um, Chris Froome has made really, really famous, uh, where you sit on the top tube and you can reduce the aero drag even more. Uh, it's banned now by the UCI. Because of that he had to look for another solution and he went for the dropper post. And I'm sure the UCI are okayed it because otherwise you couldn't have used it in the race. And you see this little device on the handlebars uh, in order to control the dropper post. Of course you can get a little bit of advantage over the others that still have their normal saddle height and can't really drop it during the race. Because in a race like this, on this level, every little detail counts, every little percent counts. And if you want to attack in a descent, of course, you have to be as aero as possible and take as much risk as possible. And you see some turns, he really took quite a lot of risk, almost uh, slipped out of them and, and, had, to, and had to correct his, uh, his line. So really uh, exciting stuff there. And then he made it to the finish uh, on his own before being caught. So really cool stuff here. Innovative stuff from him. Uh, first time we've seen a drop post on a road race bike in the World Tour in the professional field. We will see more of that in the future, uh, probably yes, if the UCI okays it. And because in the descents, especially if they are long, I am uh, thinking, uh, especially Grand Tour descents from high mountain passes, you can really gain some time. Um, of course, you always also have to be a good descender, or maybe also a descender who isn't that good, can make some time um, if he just uh, is uh, better positioned uh, in, in terms of aerodynamics on the bike. So we'll see what the future brings. Thank you for checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one.